Yeah, okay. This movie happened. Chips, Law and Disorder, or just Chips, depending where you are in the world. So Chips is written, directed by, and stars Dax Shepard, as well as Michael Peña, Kristen Bell, and Vincent D'Onofrio. And it's based off of a buddy cop comedy TV series, I believe. I don't really know much about any of that. But it's written and directed by Dax Shepard, so it must be good, right? Right? Okay, credit where credit's due. Let's talk about the good in this movie, and I can say that Michael Peña is really trying in this film. The guy's a funny actor, and you can see him really trying with the material he's been given. And yeah, sure, overall, there are a couple of chuckles here and there. But for the most part, this is one of the most generic body cop comedies that isn't all that funny, and the main characters don't even have chemistry together on screen. Which I really don't understand, because if you're going for a body cop movie, you definitely need the chemistry to be there between the two main leads. And Dak Shepard and Michael Peña just do not have that chemistry. I mean, if they're friends in real life and they joke about with each other in that way, then that's great, but in this movie it doesn't come across, it comes across as dull and boring. In fact, these two characters, for the majority of this film, despise each other, they hate each other in this film. They pretty much can't stand each other, and in that, we can't stand watching them not standing each other. Does that sentence make sense? I think it did. It made sense in my brain. The script also feels like it was written by a 10 year old and it's written by Dax Shepard, one of the stars of this film. And if it was 10 years old when he wrote it, then I could kind of give it a pass on that because it does feel like that. Because there's a lot of shit in this movie that just doesn't make any sense. For example, when explosions go off near our characters, they just walk out as if nothing's happened and then continue to the next scene. They don't even acknowledge the fact that they could have just died or at least been severely injured or even burned just a little bit. And I know in comedies you are supposed to suspend your disbelief in a certain way, but this movie takes it to a whole whole new level. I mean, there's a scene, minor spoiler here by the way, but do you really give a shit? But there's a scene where these cops just run down these people and as they're going back, they look back and just say, oh, it's paparazzi, they're fine. And I get it, the joke is that paparazzi are not nice people, no one gives a shit about them. But really? There are no consequences for hitting and more than likely killing civilians. Kristen Bell and Vincent D'Onofrio are also in this movie. I really like the actors. I think they're both very talented. But in this movie, they're just themselves. That's all I can really say about their characters. They're themselves. Their characters themselves are actually really dull and boring and not fleshed out at all. Overall, guys, this is a very generic comedy. That doesn't bring anything new to the comedy genre or body cop genre. Despite a couple of chuckles here and there and Michael Peña giving it his all to try and make this funny. I was sat throughout this film bored as hell. I just wanted it to end so I could just go home. Although I did watch Life directly after this, so I was bored just wanting to get out of there to go see Life. But guys, I guarantee you won't remember this film. It's not an entertaining movie. It's nothing new. You've seen this loads of times before, and so for all of that, I have to give Chips, Law and Disorder, one star. So, Chips, Law and Disorder, have you guys seen it yet? What did you think about it? Whatever you thought, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks as always for watching, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share the video with your friends. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, then subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks again for watching. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you all in the next video.